make sure our feet are about hip distance apart. If you're not sure exactly, that's about two fist width between the, the feet there, between the arches. And we'll go ahead and lift all 10 toes up off the mat and spread them back into the ground. And again, inhale. When you're ready, lifting and spreading the toes. Exhale, press down through all 10 toes. Let's do that one more time, but this time we're gonna press down so much again that there's nowhere else to go but up. And then slowly lower. When you're ready, lift the 10 toes and then spread them down and keep pressing energy down, down, down through those toes. And one more time, inhale, lift, and just spread through those toes. Feel the floor with your feet, feel the ground. Root down and release. So from here, continue to uh, root down through the feet as we lift the chin up towards the ceiling and then bring the chin in towards the throat. Nice deep breaths, inhale up towards the ceiling. Exhale and towards the throat. Try that one more time, inhaling up. And exhaling down. This time we're gonna slowly turn your head over your uh, left shoulder here. Inhaling, and then as we exhale, let's bring the chin in towards the throat, back down, and then over to the other side. Inhale to your right side. Exhale, chin in. Once again, inhale over to your left side. Exhale, rolling down over to the right side, inhale. This time, exhale, just turn your head straight through center, to the left, inhale through center. Exhale, straight over to your right, inhale through center. Exhale, left, inhale through center, exhale, right. And this time we'll bring the chin all the way in towards the throat again and begin to roll your left ear towards the left shoulder, inhale. Feel length through the uh, right shoulder here and neck. Exhale, chin in towards the throat, rolling over to your right shoulder, right ear to right shoulder, inhale. And then exhale. Once again, this time we're gonna roll and maybe uh, follow your nose towards the ceiling and then all the way around and back down. Let's go the other direction, all the way around and back down. So from there, we'll root down through feet, inhale, reach up towards the sky. And as we exhale, let's bring the hands back to the heart center. Go ahead and drop the arms and the head heavy. Begin to bend and soften the knees here as we round through the spine, rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae. And go ahead and bend into those knees deeply here. You're welcome to separate the feet a little wider if you need to. Maybe shake your head gently side to side. And up and down, nodding, yes. And now bend into the knees even more deeply as we draw the palms up through center. So palms are gonna face upward as we inhale, like we're drawing energy from the core of the earth. And then we flip the palms over, exhale, circle the arms all the way around, the hands all the way back. And then from there, inhale, like we're gathering energy now from the sky and exhale, grounding that energy through our bodies and back down into the earth. Once again, inhale, drawing up from the core all the way up to your center. Palms flip up. Exhale, all the way around. Last time, inhale, reach out. So you exhale, bring that energy and ground it back down through the body and to the earth. This time, as we inhale, draw it up through center. Palms flip over. Inhale, a little more. Reach. Exhale, we're gonna go ahead and circle the arms up overhead. Palms come to prayer and let's hook your right thumb over top of the left. So the palms are together. And then from there, we'll take a deep inhale, root down, reach up, lift through the upper back as we exhale, press down through the feet to come up and over 
to one side. Inhale as we come back through center. Lift through the heart center. As we exhale, we're going to root down to come up and over to the other side. Again, pressing down through both feet. Inhale, lift up through heart center. As we exhale, let's go ahead and cross the right arm underneath the left first. And reach your fingertips. So coming into an eagle arm, you can also hold on to your opposite shoulders if you need to. Inhale, see if we can lift the fingertips or the elbows up toward the sky. Strong leg. Lift through the belly. Exhale, we're going to bend into the knees, coming forward, tucking the chin in between uh, the arms here. Take a deep, slow breath into the back body. Exhaling everything out. Let's do that again here. Deep breath in. The back body and shoulders. Exhale. Inhaling here. Exhale, release the arms behind you. Let's interlace the fingers in yoga mudra. We're still bending into the knees. Deep, slow breaths here, stretching through the shoulders. Plugging in, rooting through those feet. Let's take one more breath here. Exhale, releasing. So at the top of your mat, if you're not there already, we're going to take your uh, left leg up and back through a warrior three, bending into the knee to slowly step back into your lunge. So lo uh, lower the left knee down and curl the toes. We'll stay on the fingertips here. A couple breaths. So as we're sinking the hips towards the earth, we're also hugging the midline. So hugging the thighs towards each other just slightly. Feel the hips are square and the spine is long. Another breath here. As we exhale, curl the back toes under, spread the fingers wide, step back into a downward dog, but with the knees bent. So actually, this is bare pose. So hips high, knees are bent. And then go ahead and lower onto the knees. And send the inner thighs up and back as we lift up through the heart center. Inhaling here. And then exhaling back to your bear pose. Inhaling, stretching here. Nice and long. Exhaling here. Let's go ahead and step that left foot forward between the hands when you're ready. Inhale. And then exhale, lower the back knee and curl your right toes. And again, we'll stay here on the fingertips. Sinking hips, but slightly hugging them towards each other, hugging your thigh bones towards each other. Couple breaths. Nice deep and cleansing breaths here. Exhaling everything out. Let's lift off the back knee as we inhale. And then exhale, step right foot forward between the hands and fold, forward fold here. Inhaling, lengthening through your spine. Exhaling, deep in your fold. Let's root down through both feet as we inhale, root to rise, reaching up, palms to prayer. Exhale, let's bring the arms, the hands to the heart center, Samasthiti. On your next inhale, root down, reach up, palms to prayer and hook the left thumb on top. As we exhale, press down through the feet again to come up and over to the side. Inhale, root down and lift through the heart center. Legs are strong, glutes are strong. Exhale, come up and over to the other side so hips and shoulders stay square again. Inhale, root down and lift through the heart center, strong legs. And exhale, we'll go ahead and, uh, sorry, sweep the left arm under the right. So left arm under right this time, you can hold the shoulders or see if you can bring the palms together in eagle. So as we inhale here, we lift up through heart center. Elbows up, heart up. And exhale, bend the knees. Bow forward fold. So again here, we're gonna tuck the chin in between that space uh, between the arms. 
So snuggle in there and take some deep cleansing breaths here into the back body once more. Again, bending those knees as much as we need to. So there's no tension or pulling of the lower back or the hamstrings here. It's all through the upper, upper back and mid back that we're feeling this. Releasing the shoulders and head heavy as well. One more breath here. We exhale, we're gonna release the hands, interlace the opposite forefinger and thumb behind you. Stretch those shoulders once more. Still knees are bent. And really focus on the breath and just the sensation in the shoulders for now. Then I'm going to release the hands when you're ready there. Inhaling, lengthening. Exhale, step the right leg back into deep lunge. Big step back. Sorry, we kind of go through that warrior three, two, and then really lightly, quietly landing with control. Lower that right knee down, uncurl the toes. From here, we're going to inhale, come up either onto your thigh with the same kind of uh, hugging the midline here, thighs hugging towards each other. If you'd like a little bit more, we can reach up towards the sky, lifting through the heart center. And if you want even more, exhale. We're going to twist gently to your left, wrapping your hands around your hips. So still hugging those legs towards each other. Inhale, lengthening the spine. And exhale, find the twist from your core. Another deep breath here, hugging those legs together. Exhaling. Good. Inhale, we can stretch those arms back out. As we exhale, cartwheel the arms down. We'll lift up that back knee, spread the fingers wide, step that left foot back to downward facing dog. Deep, slow breaths. Inhale, lengthening, plugging in. Remember, we can bend those knees as much as we need to here. Hips are high away from shoulders. Inhaling, lengthening, externally rotating those shoulders as well. Exhale, let's go ahead and lower the knees. Inner thighs lift up the back again. We inhale, look up between brows. As we exhale, squeezing the triceps into the ribs. Squeeze and hug, hold it here. In your Ashtanga Asana, knees, chin, and chest or towards the ground, hips are high. Squeeze those triceps, one more breath. Try to hold the body up a little bit if you can. And then as we exhale, we're gonna just slide, either lift the knees and then lower down or we can slide back. That was kind of convenient that my mat was slippery enough, but uh, however you can come down. From there, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, let's bring the elbows underneath the shoulders here into a sphinx pose. Tailbone long towards the earth, tailbone towards the ground and pressing into the tops of the feet. Legs are long here too. Nice deep breath in. And as we exhale, looking over one shoulder, legs stay long and strong. Inhale back through center when you're ready. Exhale, looking over the other shoulder. Again, inhale nice and long, shoulders down. Exhale, let's go ahead and bring the hands underneath the shoulders, squeeze it in. Inhale, we can come up either onto the knees or into full plank. Exhale, let's bend those knees, downward facing dog. Couple deep breaths here. And from here. We'll go ahead and step the right foot forward between the hands when you're ready. Lower the left knee down. Hug the legs towards each other as we uncurl the toes. We can again come up onto the thigh here and stay here as long as you need. Really pressing into that uh, right big toe mound, that front big toe, and hug legs together. If you want more reaching up, inhale. Shoulders, shoulder blades glide down the back, heartless. 
You want a little bit more, we can twist towards your right. Inhale, exhale, we can wrap the arms around the hips here. Inhale, lengthening. Twist from your core, looking over the shoulder. Another deep breath here. And hugging those sides towards each other. Inhale, reach back out. Exhale, we can part with the arms down. From here, lift the back knee, step that back foot forward. And forward fold. Couple breaths here. Long and smooth. From here, we're moving down through both feet as we inhale, root to rise all the way up. Palms to prayer. Exhale, let's come back to the heart center, Samastiti. From here, root down through the feet again as we inhale, reach up. And right thumb hooks over top of left. Uh, your hands are in prayer. Exhale, press up and over. So one side, hips and shoulders are square. We're going to stay here for another breath. Inhale, rolling the heart up. Exhaling, stay, maybe deepening, but keep those legs strong, feet strong into the earth. Inhale, coming back through center, lift up through the heart center. Exhale, come up and over to the other side. So we press down through the feet to lengthen. We feel that the sides of our body, the waist get longer. And you're getting another breath here, holding the core strong, keeping the stability through the lower body through our foundation. Next inhale, we come back through center, lift the heart, arching up and back. Exhale, we can open the arms, bow forward, fold. From here, again, we're still at the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, and deep in our fold. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, let's go ahead and step it back to plank pose this time. Plank pose. Tailbone down towards the heels, pressing into the palms, the fingertips here as well. So protracting those shoulder blades towards the ceiling, hugging the belly in your midline. Let's bring left hand to center and spin the heels over to the left. Flex the feet so the toes are pointing up. Now your right foot can be in front of the left here as they naturally, as you naturally turn the heels, or you can stack the right foot on top if you like. We're gonna lift up through the hips here, especially that left hip underneath you. We can stay here, you can reach that right palm up, stacking the shoulders. Staying there, if you want a little bit more, you can sweep that arm overhead. Couple deep breaths. Rolling heart towards the sky. One more breath here. Lengthen. Exhale, slowly come back to center. Pivot the heels back up towards the ceiling, tailbone down. Protract those shoulder blades. Right hand can replace coming into the center. Spin the heels to the right. Toes lift up towards your head. So you're on the edges of your feet. And then again, we're gonna lift that right hip up now, that bottom hip. We can stack your left hand on top. We're still pressing into the fingertips here as well. Lifting up out of the shoulder. We can sweep that arm down and overhead if you like. For a little bit more, stretching from your pinky finger to your pinky toe. Another deep breath here, strong through the core. Exhale, come back to center, back to plank pose. Inhaling in plank. Exhale, let's lower the knees, chin, chest to the ground, squeeze the triceps in, hips stay high. Hold it here. Couple breaths. Inhaling again, squeeze. Exhale, release the hips down and curl the toes. Roll the shoulders back as we inhale to cobra. Tail down, exhale, lower. Let's squeeze those triceps again. Inhale to cobra, rolling up. Exhale, legs are strong. Last time, inhale, tuck the chin, curl up. Cobra, exhale. Reverse the push up here, pressing up either 
onto the knees or a full plank. Let's exhale, lower the knees, come to a child's pose for a moment. So big toes come together. And again, we can either, either outstretch the arms here in front of you, or you can uh, let them come back behind you and relax your shoulders and elbows towards the earth. Take a few deep, slow breaths into your back body here. You can slow down that breath. It's also a nice place to either revisit an intention that you have or create a new one or revisit a mantra, affirmation, whatever speaks to you today. Maybe coming back to our mantra that I am a student of my body. I'm a student of the breath. I'm a student of life. I am a child of the universe. From there, slowly sitting back into the heels to roll up to your spine vertebrae by vertebrae. Keep the eyes closed and your gaze inward. Just take that moment as we stack all. Deep cleansing breath. Notice what you notice. Let's take a moment here. Uh, root down through the knees and take a deep inhale. Reach up towards the sky again. As we exhale, let's go to circle the arms around and then slide those hands out in front of you into a V shape. Maybe bring either your forehead or your chin towards the ground here into uh, Anahata Asan or heart pose. So the hips are stacked above the knees and the low back is relaxed. You can separate the knees further apart if you need to. Low back is soft and belly is uh relaxed here as you breathe into the belly allow it to expand and fill up with each inhale and then soften through the shoulders and the chest with each exhale even more another breath here as we exhale, we're going to kind of slide up just a little bit and to bring the right arm under the left. So we're going to find a twist here, bringing the right ear, right shoulder to the ground and the left hand to your sacrum. So kind of notice if your hips are leaning over to the left a little bit, get those hips back to center, get on both knees equally, pressing both hips straight up, belly lifts. You can feel that lift in your core. The left arm can either wrap back behind you here uh, in a half bind, you can grab your right inner thigh or reach for it. You can also keep your arm overhead on the fingertips here, stretching that outer shoulder, uh, however you like. Just make sure that the hips stay square towards the ceiling. If your left arm is behind you in that half bind, bring your left shoulder down now. Bring the left shoulder towards the floor while in the bind. This will give a nice stretch through your um, right shoulder and also the internal rotation of the left shoulder. So that left shoulder is coming towards the floor. A couple of deep breaths here as well. All right, releasing that left arm uh, back down. Let's go ahead and press down into the left hand and reach up through the right arm and open twist. Just release the twist there. And then we're gonna come back into that V 
with your left arm now. So reaching your arms out like we just came from Anahata Asana, then left arm's gonna slide underneath. Left ear, left shoulder. Again, you can come onto your right fingertips here to, or put your right hand to your sacrum and seal. Are you leaning over to that right side? Pull your belly in, find center here. Um, both knees equally. And then you can either wrap that arm, that right arm around, reaching for the left inner thigh, or you can keep it overhead on the fingertips, stretching outer shoulder. And find what feels, once you settle, notice if that's what you need. Otherwise, uh, find a new position and then bring your right shoulder. If it's behind you in the half spine, pull the right shoulder towards the ground. So now you feel the shoulders are trying to square off in a way. Right shoulder is internally rotating, stretching there. And the, feel the weight and the stretch through the left shoulder here as well. The compression and weight. One more breath, it's like a little massage for the left shoulder. Really sink heavily into it. Let's bring that right hand when you're ready underneath your right shoulder, press down, left arm towards the sky is open in here. Open twist, exhale. Come back to all fours from there. Inner thighs lift up and back, inhale. Look up between brows. And exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. So again, we're plugging in through hands and feet, lengthening the sides of the body long. So we want to lift the hips high up away from the shoulders. You can also bend the knees here. The heels are the last thing to come down. Everything else uh, here, plugging in, lengthening through sides, lifting the hips, externally rotating the shoulders, protracting the shoulders. So we even feel like we're lifting our shoulder blades towards the ears here. That protraction. All right, let's go ahead from here. Bring your right leg up towards the ceiling, three leg dog up, up, up on your tippy toes, outer thigh and pinky toe roll down towards the earth. Press into both hands equally, inhaling here. Exhale, let's bring your thigh to your chest, uh, heel nice and high. And then go ahead and step that right foot forward between the hands here. Bend that back knee, root down to slowly rise up into your uh, high, high lunge, high crescent lunge. So if uh, you can keep your core strong and stretch the back knee, if you can lift that back thigh bone without compressing your lower back, go ahead and try that. If it does compress your lower back, keep the knee bent. Take a deep breath in, lengthen through the sides of the body. Exhale, we're gonna gently twist to your right again here. Open twist. Again, if you'd like to, you can lift that back knee. If there's any compression there, keep it back. A couple of deep breaths here. From here, we're going to bring that left arm down, right arm up. So still in your open twist. Now hug that right thigh bone and right hip in and back. Another breath here. If you'd like keeping that right knee bent, we're gonna hop it forward into a revolved Ardha Chandrasana, but keeping the right knee bent here. Push through the left heel. If and when you feel ready, if you feel good and you wanna lift, uh, straighten that right knee and lift the belly up away from the thigh, you can come into a revolved Ardha Chandrasana. Deep breath here. Exhale, let's bring that right arm down. Still in warrior three. Press down through the feet. We're gonna bring your left knee to meet your right knee side by side, squeeze the knees together. Push down, hands to the heart. 
slowly root down to your right leg. So again, slight bend to that right knee here. And as we inhale, we lift the left knee in line with the hip, hold the knee and open through your left side. So open twist here. You wanna make sure that your butt is still back. You're not tucking under to lift the knee, push the sacrum back, lift the belly up. Gazing over the left shoulder here as we hold the left knee. Another deep breath here. As we exhale, we're gonna slowly push through the heel, going through warrior three, your Vajrasana three, step it back into a deep lunge. From here, spin your left heel down, toes pointing out, inhale to warrior two, your Vajrasana two. And we're gonna wiggle that right foot forward until we can hunker down a little bit. I'm gonna just turn myself around. You're gonna stay here with the right leg in front. So feeling you're pressing into the outer edge of that back foot and the inner thighs are stretching along the way from each other. Lifting up through that inner arch as we press into that back leg. Deep breaths. Right arm can come up towards the sky as we inhale, stretch it up. Stretch the right side of your body. Exhaling here. You can also wrap that left arm behind us if you want. Using your core, inhaling. Exhaling. From here to your side angle, sweep that left arm overhead. Inhale. Exhale here. Another deep breath, lengthening. Exhale, sweep it back down. We're going to come back to your reverse trikonasana. Sorry, your reverse uh, warrior, peaceful warrior. And exhale, back to warrior two. Moving through the upper body, keep the lower body stable as we start to reach through. Deep cleansing breath. So we want to sort of unstick the ribs, get some movement here through the center of the body. Breathe. And from there, inhale, back up. And as we exhale, we're going to cartwheel the arms, turn the back leg in here right away. Turn your toes to the left. Toes in, heels out. So now we're facing the long edge of the mat. Turn your left toes out, lunging halfway down or all the way down into your skandhasana. So for halfway down, feet are planted and we're still opening through the hips here. For all the way down, toes are up. External rotation through both those hips. It's okay if the uh, left heel comes up here. Just make sure this is okay for your knees. Left arm can press against that left leg. Right arm can reach up if we want to open through the heart center here. Just a little back bend. Another deep breath here. And exhale, release. Turn the toes in. Once again, to prasarita. Press into those feet and slowly come up. So slowly coming up, uh, let's bring the heels in towards each other, toes out. Sliding the hands down the thighs. And go ahead and kind of sink into those hands. Actually, I'm going to turn so that the thumbs are forward. Sink into those hands and those shoulders so we can sink into those hips. Putting all the weight into our hands here. Maybe you want to bring one shoulder forward and twist. Pressing those thighs out. Back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Twist to the other side. And back to center, pressing down again through both feet, hands to the heart, deep cleansing breaths. You can stay here or bring the arms to goddess, forefinger and thumb together. Breathe. Let's bring your left, uh, sorry, your right forearm to thigh and stretch up and over. Stretch through the side body. Keep both thighs. Uh, and hips externally rotating, back to center, inhaling, exhale over to the other side, stretch through the side body. Have a deep breath here, both eyes turning out, inhale, both hips turning out, back to center, exhale, get a little lower, breathe, work through this and press down through both feet, inhale, stretch. 
we exhale, we're going to turn back over to our right. We turn both toes over to the right. Reach long through the right side of the body. Pull the hips in and back. So we lean back here through the upper body to get right in line with that front, with the, the legs and the hips. Lift through heart center. Now keeping your core strong, if you have no back issues here, we're gonna use the side obliques here to pulse, pulse. So no weight on that bottom hand. Feel those side obliques. Lean back, belly in. Deep breaths. Beautiful. From here, we can stay here or bend into the front knee. Walk your uh, front hand and your back foot or float forward into your Ardha Chandrasana half moon. Stretching through that right leg. Good. So from here, you can have your left hand to your hip, keeping your gaze on the ground. As we start to open, open uh, to the long edge of the mat. Open to the side. Keep the belly drawing in as we press down through the feet. Sorry, through the foot. Spread through the toes. If you like, you can reach long through your hands, through your fingertips and toes. Open your heart. It's okay if we fall out. Stay rooted, grounded. Sometimes we get overzealous and that's okay. Sometimes we just lose the breath. That's when we want to come back slowly and consciously to our breath. Take one more breath here. Exhale, if you'd like to bend that left knee, find the foot. Now stretch that left quadricep. As you pull the foot towards your buttocks, draw your tailbone down. Feel the stretch in the quads. You can stay here or kick the foot back into the hand, finding your Dhanurasana bow pose or a variation of it. You can always bend the bottom knee too. Strong legs and core. Step it back. Ooh, deep lunge, lower that left knee down. Stretch your right leg out in front of you. Let's kind of wiggle it forward here. And take another breath here. Lengthen the sides of the body long. Exhale and fold. You wanna Come forward as if we're trying to bring that left thigh towards the front foot, which may move us a little bit more forward towards the splits. A couple more breaths here. Go ahead and from there, we're gonna take that left leg, bring it in underneath us so that the right leg is on top. And I'm gonna to be opposite of you now uh, since I'm just flipping from the side angle. So your right leg is on top. Now, if your butt cheeks do not touch the ground or one of them doesn't, straighten your left leg out in front of you. Okay, this won't be a long sequence. We'll just take this for the stretch of the hips and the twist, right arm behind you. And I'll be opposite of you as we inhale, left arm up. Exhale, we can either hug the thigh towards your chest or press the elbow up against the thigh. Hug the belly in, lengthen both sides of the body. Deep cleansing breaths. Rooting down as we lengthen tall. Chin slightly in, keep the back of the neck long. Ringing out with each exhale. Good, and then gently from there, uh, let's go ahead and actually twist away from the, the leg. So twist over to your left. And we're gonna kind of lean over to the left here, away from that front leg. Flex that right ankle and press the thigh or the knee away from you. Now, if you find that you've got lower back issues here, just stay up. Stay up and press that thigh bone down so you feel the stretch in the hips. As long as you keep that ankle flexed, press the thigh. 
Feel the length through the sides of your body. All right, from there, we're facing back to the front. If you're, uh, you're probably there already, we're gonna step, uh, stretch the left leg back so the right leg's in front. Pressing into the hands, we're gonna press up and back to down or facing dog. Stretch it out. Again, length through both sides of your body. And let's kind of keeping the heels high. So you can bend the knees. We're gonna rebound the heels up and down and kind of shake this out a little bit. So keep your toes planted and let your heels just bounce up and down. Again, even if your knees are bent here. Shake, shake, shake. Let your lower back shake, let your legs and glutes, everything shake out here. From here, we're gonna go ahead and come forward to either into plank pose or onto your hands and knees. You've got lots of options for your vinyasa flow. As we exhale up on those tippy toes, elbows stay above wrist, lower, halfway, and then release down, inhale to cobra, shoulders down, exhale, reverse that push up. Downward facing dog or bear pose first if you want to neutralize the spine and then stretch back into down dog. Cleansing, nourishing breath here. I'm going to stretch again that left leg up, up onto your tippy toes. Let's open that hip, bend that left knee, stack your left hip on top of the right. If you'd like to come forward into a plank, keep that leg up in the scorpion tail, and then let that left foot drop behind you. So we can come to the floor here, then keeping the right leg straight, left knee bent, and lift the hips into your wild thing, or your flip dog here. Right leg stays straight, left knee is bent, pressing into both feet, strong legs, another breath. Exhale, we're gonna sweep it back down to come back to our bellies. Come back to your belly, down or facing dog. Press it up. Breathe. So let's go ahead and come up onto the tippy toes as we inhale here, lift the hips high. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk or float to the top of your mat as quietly as we can. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale deep in your fold. So you can already uh, perhaps feel a difference between the right and left side here. Deep, slow breath. Stay here for one more cycle. Empty, slowly, completely out. Root down through the feet as we inhale, root to rise up, palms prayer. Exhale, let's bring the arms down by our sides this time into Dasana. Take a moment, notice what you notice here with your deep breath. From here, we're going to sit back into an imaginary chair. So let's bring your heels and toes to touch. Bring your knees back, your butt back, your hips back onto those fingertips. Scoop the belly in as we perhaps raise the arms up overhead or bring the hands to the heart. And again, we're going to suck the gut, the belly, uh, the pelvic floor in and upward here. Keep them spine long. So we can still take the gaze towards the third eye or between the brows here. Kind of stretch your eyeballs a little bit. Take one more breath. Exhale, deep in your fold. Uttanasana, forward fold. Take a couple more breaths here. Take your next inhale, length in the spine. Exhale, let's step it back to plank pose again. Inhaling plank. Exhale, slowly lower, halfway or all the way, sorry, halfway then all the way. Inhale to cobra, shoulders down. 
And exhale, reverse the push-up. Back to downward dog. Plugging in through hands and feet. Externally rotate the shoulders. Long, smooth breaths. As if, again, you're drawing that breath up with that prana, life force energy, up from the core of the earth, through the hands and feet, all the way up to the center of your body. And then sending it back down through those channels. Back to the earth. So we're going to inhale, the left leg goes up towards the sky, up on your tippy toes, outer thigh and pinky toe rolling down. Scoop the belly in. Strong through both hands. Strong through standing leg. One more breath. Exhale, thigh to chest, lift that heel high. And we step it forward between the hands. We're going to bend that back knee, root down. Again, you can come up onto your thigh. Or if and when you feel ready, reaching arms up to a high crescent lunge. Exhaling here. Inhale if you'd like to try lifting that back thigh bone as long as there's no tension in the low back. Exhale. Or again, we can keep it bent. Inhale, we're going to lift up to twist open to your left side. Breathe. Gazing over the left shoulder. Try to keep the shoulders uh, relaxed, chest open. Feel the stretch through the sides of your body. Lift the back thigh bone if it's okay for the low back. Another breath here. Exhale, the right hand's going to come down, left arm up. Hips are square. Deep cleansing breaths. Lift that thigh. Pull that left butt cheek in. Long and smooth. Now from here, you can stay here or walk the right hand and right foot forward, coming into your rever revolved Ardachandrasana. Keep your left knee bent though for now. Push through the heel away from the crown. So rolling the heart towards the left from your core. Now, if you like, you can try stretching that bottom leg and lifting your belly up a little bit more away from the thigh. One more breath here in your revolved Ardachandrasana. And exhale from here. We're going to bend your, uh, sorry, step back into your next deep lunge first. We're going to bring your right knee to meet the left knee. Squeeze the knees together side by side. Flex that foot and that ankle. Breathe deeply. Pressing down into your left leg, hands to the heart, slowly coming up, strong standing leg. Now bring your right knee in line with the hip. Holding on to your right knee with your left hand. Suck the belly and push your sacrum back just a little bit to neutralize your spine. So you want neutral spine, natural curve of low back, and that suction in the core, in that low belly. Reach the right arm back behind. So if anything, it feels like you're sticking your butt out rather than tucking it under. Suck that belly up. Maybe taking your gaze beyond your fingertips. Another deep breath here. As we exhale, slowly come back to the center, hands to the heart. Push through the heel into your warrior three. Your Bajrasana three. Another breath. Exhale, low lunge. Come all the way down onto the ground. Spin your right heel down. Press into the feet, inhale to warrior three, I'm uh, sorry, warrior two. Your Vajrasana two. Left leg is front. Again, I'm going to flip around. You're going to stay with your left foot front. Pressing into the outer edge of back foot, inner arch lifts, inner thighs stretch away. Outer thighs plug into the hip sockets. Cleansing, nourishing breaths. Open the heart space, open the chest. Without splaying out the ribs, keep the ribs in. Left arm towards the sky as you inhale. Stretch to the left side of your body. Let's be forward. Exhale if you want that back arm can wrap around. Another deep breath here. Exhale, we're going to come to your side angle, or sorry, side angle forearm to thigh. 
slowly float the right arm over. Again, see if you can feel the inner thighs stretch long away from each other. And a deep breath. Exhaling. One more time, sweep that right arm down. Inhale, back to your revolved, sorry, your reverse warrior, peaceful warrior. Exhale, back to warrior two. Reaching long through the sides of your body. Keep that lower body strong and stable. Upper body can reach, lengthen, stretch, move, mobilize. Whew. One more breath here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cartwheel those arms. Turn in that back leg. From there, turn your toes to the right, to the long edge of the mat. Toes in, heels out. Staying here or turn your right toes out, lunge halfway and stay here or all the way down. Externally rotate both hips. Toes can come up. Again, if this is any trouble for the knee, we can stay up here with the feet flat on the ground. Right arm, if you're down in Skandasana, right arm can press against the right thigh, left arm up as we inhale, open to heart center. And exhale, fold and fold it in. Walk it in, toes in, heels out. Toes in, heels out here. Root down through both feet as we inhale to rise up. And then we exhale, bring the heels towards each other one more time. Slide the hands down the thighs. Palm, maybe thumbs facing forward. Sway it a little side to side. So we want, really want to drop down into those hips. From here, press into the feet. Feel the legs are strong. External rotation is strong. Turn out from those hips. Staying here at the heart center. Or we can again come back to goddess. Four finger and thumb together. Breathe. Once more, we're going to bring form to thigh. We're going to sweep it overhead this time. Stretch the side body. Turn out those hips. Exhale, sweep it down. Form to thigh. Sweep it over to the other side. Stretch through mid back, upper back, thoracic spine. Breathe, exhale. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, one more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale. This time, inhale, come up. Sure, goddess, exhale, get a little deeper. Sway it out. Little smile there, breathe. And root down, reach up. Exhale, turn your toes to the left. Turn toes to the left. Reach through the left side, lengthen long through the side of your body. Oops. <laughs> From here, lean back. No weight on that left arm. Deep cleansing breaths. Open through your heart center. Lean back, strong through side obliques. We're going to take little pulses up and down from those side obliques, from your core. Again, if you're feeling this in your back, don't do it. Put your hand on the support, your shin bone or block. And then from there, bend into the front knee. Walk or float that left hand forward, right foot forward. Left knee can stay bent as you come up to your Ardha Chandrasana half moon. Now remember, you can keep that left knee bent as long as you need to. Open through the heart, stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Spread through the toes. Keep your gaze down or slowly if you feel stable and rooted. And slowly begin to bring your eyes to the side of the room, maybe even up towards the ceiling. Another deep breath here, core strong. Exhale from here, we can bend into that back knee, find the foot, tailbone down, stretch your quad, tailbone downward, foot to your buttocks. Now staying here, remember you can bend that bottom knee if you need to, or uh, kick the foot into the hand now. So now stre strengthening the legs, the glutes, and the core strength for our back bend here. One more breath, bow pose, or variation of bow. Exhale, slowly, slowly, release it back. 
all the way back, lower that right knee down and stretch through the front leg. I'm gonna wiggle that foot forward. Inhaling here. Exhale, bring that right thigh bone towards that front foot. Couple breaths. Again, as you continue to pull that back thigh bone forward, maybe you can feel if the body and the breath is uh, comfortable and start to gently move towards the splits. Listen to your body, listen to your breath. We're gonna lunge into that left leg. So pull it back in if you need. Right knee comes behind the left. We're gonna sit onto both sit bones. So again, I'll be opposite of you here. Left leg is on top. I mean, I'm gonna appear opposite of you, but we're all left leg on top, left arm behind, right arm up as we inhale. Exhale, we can hug the thigh in or press elbow against the thigh. Remember if your, your left butt cheek doesn't hit the floor or touch the floor, keep your bottom leg stretched out in front. Inhale, lengthen, scoop that belly in, exhale, twist. Root down from your tail. Pushing up through the top of your head, the crown of your head. Both directions strongly. Another deep breath here. Exhale, twist. Inhale as we come back through center. Exhale, we're gonna gently twist the opposite direction. You can press your hand against the foot and the ground. Looking over the other shoulder. Now from here, we're gonna walk ourselves out to the side, flex that left foot a lot and press that left thigh or knee back away from your body. So you'll feel a nice big stretch through the side body and the outer hip. Remember if there's any tension in low back, just go ahead and prop yourself up onto your hand rather than your forearm. And we can still with some a little bit of force with that left arm pressing against the thigh, feel that stretch in that hip. It's okay if the left foot comes off, just keep pressing down into the thigh, into both thighs here. And then once we release here, that left leg is gonna stay front, right leg back, spread through the fingers, press up and back down or dog, and just feel. Inhaling, lengthening the sides of your body, hips go higher, exhaling, high away from the shoulders. Lift the upper back, protract those shoulder blades. Inhaling here. Exhaling. Inhaling back to plank pose or you can come to your knees or child's pose. Exhale, chaturanga, halfway. All the way down when you're ready. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, reverse the push up. Downward facing dog. Last time, we're gonna bring the right leg up, open the hip as we inhale. Exhale, bend that right knee, stacking the right knee over left hip. Press into both hands equally. Another deep breath here. Shoulders are square. Keep that right shoulder down, away from the hip. Remember, you can stay here or come forward. Uh, so your right leg is up in scorpion, shoulders above the wrists. And let that right foot fall behind you now into the, onto the ground, left leg long, inhale to your flip dog or your wild thing. I don't know why these things have to have so many names. The Indian name, the, or the Sanskrit. There's just too many. And then slowly release. And then come onto your belly. Squeeze those triceps in. Inhale to cold breath, lift the heart. And exhale. Reverse that push up. Down or facing dog. Breathe deeply. Inhaling, lengthening. Exhaling. Go to the knees and sweep the legs out in front of us. Come forward. And slowly roll down. 
Throw all the way back, feet right underneath your ankles. Sorry, your ankles right underneath your knees. Head back, root down into both feet as we inhale, lift the hips. Exhale here. Inhale, if you like to stretch the arms overhead, stretch the sides of the body. Exhale, plug into all parts of the feet. Navel towards spine. Inhaling, press into all feet, parts of the feet. Exhale. So sustain the hips only as high as feels comfortable for your low back. Making sure not to arch it, but really keeping glutes, hamstrings, and inner thighs strong. One more breath here. Let's reach up. Exhale slowly. Make our way down. From here, we're going to bring the hips over to the right side of your mat uh, or the room and knees up and over to the left side. Stacking your right hip on top of the left side, if you could touch your sacrum there, make sure it's flat and congruent. Open up through your right arm and release the neck and the shoulders here over to your right. Deep cleansing breath. Same here. If you'd like to reach that right leg, that top leg out, we can hold on to the big toe, the outer edge of the foot, or Underneath the thigh, right, sorry, underneath the calves. Now press, as you straighten that right leg out, press the hips down away from the shoulders. At the same time, hugging the core in and up. Feel that nice stretch go through the outer leg line. We're gonna from here bend into that right knee and come into a reclined pigeon. So let that left leg kind of slide down underneath you and hug that right thigh. So left leg can straighten and the right leg, uh, the right foot is coming towards your face, keeping the ankle flexed. Feel that nice stretch in the outer hip and the glutes. So in the recline pigeon, you can control uh, just how much of a stretch you want here. If you need a stretch through your upper back here, we can round the spine and lift your head towards your foot, or maybe even try to bring your foot back behind your head. That's probably for another day for most of us. You're welcome to try it. And then from here, we can bring, hold on to the right outer edge of your foot into a half, uh, half happy baby. Let's bend your left knee up, hold on to your left knee and slowly extend that right foot out. So coming to stretch the inner thighs here. You can hold the big toe or um, put your hand underneath the calves for support. So we wanna have equal Pressing into both hips down into the ground here. Stretch that inner thigh. And then bring the knees out and fold them back together here. We're going to bring the feet back to the ground to bring our hips back to the center. And then uh, when you feel ready, bring both hips or your buttocks over to the left side of the room or the left side of your mat. Knees up and over to the right. And then we're going to stack the hips and pelvis here. Open the left arm. Turning the gaze over the left shoulder. Deep cleansing breaths here as we open up through the chest. We find our gentle supine twist. It's all about the breath. You can stay here as long as you like or straighten out that top leg, that left leg now holding either big toe, outer edge of the foot or underneath the calves. And now as you hold on to that foot or the leg here, press the hips down away from the shoulders. So as you feel your hips press down, you feel that nice stretch through the outer leg line. You also feel a nice 
lengthening through your waist. Again, navel towards spine. Core is always engaged, but not tight. Another breath here. As we exhale, we're going to bend into that left knee and fold it in towards us like we're doing happy baby. Oh, sorry. Fold it in towards us as we bring the right leg down. So now we've got the left foot here. Flex the ankle. And we're bringing the foot towards the face or our face. Feel the stretch in that outer hip. If you're kind of wanting to explore here, you can also kind of cradle that left leg or that left foot kind of side to side or back and forth a little bit. Otherwise, just find a nice stretch and breathe into it. Find stillness here. You also have the option to lift your heart towards the foot and curl your upper spine. Maybe try to bring the foot back behind your head. Again, not too much, not too little. Listen to your body and your breath. As we lay back down, we're going to hold the pinky toe edge of that foot coming to your half happy baby on that left side. Right knee is going to come up. We're going to hold that right knee here, however it feels comfortable, to keep that right side grounded, that right hip grounded, and extend the left leg out to the side here to stretch the inner thighs or the adductors. Again, you can have your hand underneath your calves here or hold the big toe or foot. Counterbalance the weight of the leg with the right leg here pressing down as well. So both hips are rooted to the earth. Always connect back to the breath. And listen to your body. I am a student of my body. I am a student of the breath. The spirit. And from there, we're going to bend into both knees, hold on to both knees here, and do a little circle in towards the center and out and in and out. And then let's bring the feet as wide apart as the mat is. Wiggle, bring, slide your fingertips underneath your low back and wiggle your butt cheeks away from each other, pulling the flesh out from underneath you. Wiggle, wiggle here. And let the knees fall to one side. Stretch over to the other side. Stretch. And then make our way into Shavasana Corpse Pose. Um, if you need any final, like rounding, curling into a little ball, you can do any of that. If you'd like to take a restorative inversion for your final resting posture, can be a really nice um, way to prep us for deep sleep later to help really quiet and rest the heart and the mind. Um, legs up on the wall or legs up on your sofa or your chair with maybe some pillows or cushions or something. Just making yourself as comfortable and as warm as possible. And Allowing ourselves, once you're there, to settle. Take some few deep, cleansing, nourishing breaths. Some nice deep exhales to help us rinse out completely. Letting go of our practice and letting go of the controls. Allowing ourselves to drop in and move back into our natural state of being. It's effortless breath. Effortless state of being. Allowing ourselves to once again 
be held and supported and nurtured by Mother Earth, Father Sky, Universe, and ourselves. We acknowledge we are part of the whole and that we are in ourselves, within ourselves, whole and complete. We are the same space of unconditional and infinite love, compassion, light and healing, and energy. As we let go and let be, and just be, Taking a couple of slow, deep breaths. And staying here in stillness as long as you like. Perhaps if and when you feel ready, gently awakening fingertips and toes. We'll slowly walk the feet back up onto the ground. And if you hug the legs in towards your chest, Wrapping the arms around the legs, Let's tuck the chin in towards the throat. Feel the whole length of your spine from the back of the neck towards the tailbone, all the way down into the earth. And rolling onto your left side into a fetal position, left over the pillow in your head. Take a couple of deep, slow breaths here. Crossing into your right palm and slowly rise. Keeping your eyes closed and breathe inward as we find a nice, tall, and comfortable seat. Take a few moments here. Observe what you feel as you breathe. Allowing the heart to be open and free. Breath. 
flowing freely this this open and free giving and receiving reciprocity with with life force with nature with one another And joining the hands together by the heart center and on Jadid Mudra or prayer. And bowing humbly to the light and the teacher that dwells within each and every one. Thank you for practicing. Namaste.